so you got your spirit board to torment one or torment two and then you're struggling to deal some damage you don't have enough resource generation to keep the combo for the rod of Kepalefke and the ring of the mid midnight sun uh, I'm using this build right now and it got me to tier 3 and uh, tier uh, 2 GA tier will just drop for me while I was doing uh, a tier 2 boss and that was my first one so I'm just gonna share to you guys what uh, you saw in the beginning where I pretty much solo tier 2 bosses pretty easily and let's go over on what I use. So it doesn't have the Rod of Kepaleke, it doesn't have the Midnight Sun. Uh, I'm using a vulnerable polearm for the base stat and just find the best you can. I was using a 1GA for quite a bit and this just dropped today and I, I crafted it. Uh, what you want is the double projectile volley then eagle damage then you can you want the rackinauts weight uh wake hopefully you get a ga for res all resistance if you don't uh just get the highest you can it drops in infernal hordes uh easiest way to level up in my opinion um for the pants uh you need this forest power and total armor and the best GA pants you can get. Dexterity or armor is fine. Turn on gloves, I don't even have a GA. I just had the vortex and the eagle damage because this one was like, and it has dexterity and armor, that's why I'm using it. Uh, it's pretty good. Uh, for the runes, you want the the one that gives you the resource if you spend resources and I'm using vortex so you can just um, get it to to get the enemies close to you then for the armor hopefully if you find the GA armor fine if not just uh, use that one and for the imprint, I use interdiction. Then for the helm, uh, the harmony. Pretty sure it's still bug because I don't see my secondary spirit and my skills. Uh, highest aspect roll that you can get. For the amulet, you need total armor GA would be the preferred GA. If you can't get it, the dexterity is fine. Um, total armor for the tempers. That ultimate damage is not even use useful because I'm about to change that since I got that Tyrells. If I can't push with this to tier 4. Uh, for the rings, we use dexterity and life and maybe some damage if we can get some or attack speed. Uh, this is the one uh, so try to get the GA just to get your resistance up to 70 uh, and armor hopefully more uh, above 2000 uh, let's go see the skills oh, okay. so the skill tree uh, I just followed the normal skill tree for the Quillborn uh, I believe for the end game um, and that's pretty much what I have, and I'm still using Vital Strikes. So most of this, you're just going to be stacking vulnerable damage uh, until you get that rod. Uh, the only downside is until uh, you get to... this node for the resource generation and sapping it uh, you need to manage your resource very well um, that that was the only problem but you'll still be 
hitting for hitting for quite a bit. So fulminate on the first board. Let me just follow this. Then the second board is Talon. Uh, it's my highest level right now. It's not even 45. Uh, then for this, it's Spirit. Ah, uh, I think you can use Cunny for to replace it if you don't have the Rod combo yet, since you don't get you don't have a high critical hit chance. But I didn't try, and I don't have it leveled up yet. Uh, it's only level 9, but I'm going to show you. I'm probably going to level it uh, for this and try to get to Torment 4 without the Tyrells. If I can make it. Nah, I'm about to unlock that. But that's pretty much what you need uh, for the skill bar. I have Quill Volley, Rock Spitter, the Hunter, Scourge, Ravager. An armored hide, a mercenary, no for the spirits, gorilla and jaguar. Then for the mercenary, um, the first mercenary right here uh, with that, that skill tree, I believe. Maybe. Uh, the most important part is that 15% armor, really. And then for reinforcement, uh, Varyarna. She's maxed already. Okay. And Earthbreaker. Uh, I'll show you. Um, so for potions, I use resource regeneration just to make it smoother. If you need to, you can use the incense for uh, what do you call that? Resistances? But for, because once I enter, all the stats for the armor will go down, right? So, I'm not even max resistances. Uh, this is tier 50. Let's see how this build works. So this... Build can easily uh, carry any TT bosses. Uh, my gear is not masterwork. Uh, my highest not masterwork ready. was that amulet. I said T8. Weapon to masterwork four. I'm probably gonna replace that with the rod not since ready. I got it too from Dorio. I got a GA, but it's not great. The wrong stat that got GA. It was a real strike. But I'm about to change the build. If you're struggling for T2 and you want to push to T3, I would suggest to use this until you get to maybe like I think one, I think one, and or 180 level one, uh, Paragon level 180. And have your uh, equipment tempering since to make that combo work with the rod and the ring, you need a lot of resource regeneration and the basic skill damage. You need to change most of your equipment, but you can get the retempering scroll quite easily in Infernal Horde, so I don't think that would be a problem since so I'll be using that with my amulet and hopefully get basic attack damage and then change this to uh, with the mythic varying entire else. Uh, I just hope that I have enough damage since I don't have GA skill skill damage. This is pit 50 with with not max resistance since you can still survive. It's not hard. 55 was quite hard with this. I'm gonna try that after after this and see how how far I can get. 
I was not using the 2GA weapon and I didn't master work it beforehand. Um, and I'm gonna try. Ooh! Need more time. Oh, I died. Guess not. I'll lose that one extra chance then. So, yeah, and when you get uh, crowd controlled with this build. There's not really a lot of options unless you have the armored debuff or armored buff active. Which I'm just not paying attention right now. Oh, I died again. I think I did use an elixir to get it higher than 50 for most of them to like 60, but I might have changed something in my build that I didn't notice that affected the resistance. Yeah, so that GA and the, the boots resistance is very important for tier 3 and higher. Not ready. And I think you can unlock tier 3 without finishing 50. Not ready yet. Um, you can just finish 45 quickly, and once you unlock, need more time. unlock, it will unlock it. Once you can go through 50, you don't need to um, beat it. You just have to open it, or able to open it. Need more time. The the walls, the, the the feathers cannot go through the walls, so watch out for that. Probably you wondering why. Not ready. Can't damage it. It's the same with the lightning so here, like last. So I died two times, Not and ready. I still have like seven minutes. Um, so it still should be fine. But I don't think this, unless I masterwork more items, uh, I can push past 55. Um, I'm gonna try. Let's see. I'm gonna use some incense. Let's see if that works out. So for the boss, this shotgun. That's it. Uh, I'm gonna try wood. Okay. Wood canny. Before I switch builds. Uh, thanks for watching. Hopefully, this helps you get to tier 2 and tier 3 and have more fun with your spirit born until you get full build. I think the vulnerable um, is definitely good. Um, able to do all the content and tier two quite easily. Didn't really try tier three yet because I don't have mass. Uh, my resistances will drop to 50, and that won't be enough to survive. I'm even using two two diamonds. And it's not enough. Uh, thanks for watching. 
and like and subscribe if you want.